Hi everyone, Scott here from Carton Club. In today's video, I'm going to take you through a few settings in, t in regards to replenishment. Um, first thing we're going to tackle off uh, some initial setup um, that you need to do once replenishment is enabled within your account. So first step, we're going to take a look at our organization settings. Uh, remember that's where we set up some basic settings to do with your tenancy within the platform. So under the warehouse tab of organization settings down the bottom, you'll find some replenishment configuration. Now at a high level, this is where we set up some, some base rules in the system. Um, so I'll take you through those now. So the first setting we come to replen replenishment report logic. Now in carton cloud, we have two, uh, default and overstock from sale order demand default is your standard minimum and maximum where you'll set a minimum for a product in a particular location and a maximum. Once you hit the minimum, Carton Club will tell you you need to go and replenish that location back up to its designated maximum. Overstock from sale order demand uh, is similar except it looks at your pending sales orders within the system. Um, so for example, if you have a maximum of 50 but we see that there's um, open orders for that particular product equaling 100, we, we will tell you to replenish all 100 into the pick face. Um, obviously there's some implications with that in terms of your capacities, um, but we'll, we'll cover that later on in this video. So the next setting is all about the depletion limit that a single order can take from that designated pick face. So using my same example as a hundred per pallet, and let's say our maximum in that location is a hundred to keep things easy. I might say that no single order can take more than 50% of that pallet of a hundred. So it can't take 50. Um, this is a great way to make sure that any larger orders are not being taken from your pick faces. Instead, they're still being directed to your, to your bulk area or your pallet. Um, pallet locations. Cool. So we might set um, a general uh, depletion limit of, of 50%. Cool. So the next one is pretty important. It's what status of stock do we look at when we're looking to run a replenishment? Now, by default, the system is going to look at your on hand balance. So what that means is that um, it will look at locations that have current allocations to it. But you do have the option to use free. So only look at stock that's not committed to orders currently. Now where that's important is if you're running a paper based picking system and you've already printed your pick lists, you wouldn't want a replenishment taking your on hand balance because it's going to move those allocations once you've done those replenishments potentially. So it's something to keep in mind. Obviously Carton Cloud's suggesting that this is run um, you know, for organizations that are picking on mobile, but of course, like the option is there if you run paper based. Cool. So those are the initial organization level settings that we need to look at. So once those are saved and replenishment is active in your account, a fair few things change within the application. Now, one of the largest changes is to do with your warehouse locations. So under warehouse, warehouse locations, we're going to take a quick look at the, the changes that have occurred now that we've enabled replenishment. So if I go and review a current warehouse location in this account here, and I select edit down the bottom under my efficiency. Now, some of you might've noticed that we increased our efficiencies from 10 to 20 and with replenishment active, they've now gone from 20 to 30. Now by default, anything classed as 21 and above is classed as a pick face. Uh, so this is really important because in order for replenishment to work within the application, Carton Cloud needs to know what locations are considered pick face locations and which locations are not. So one of the steps that will need to be taken is that the efficiencies will need to be updated for all locations 
um, that will be considered a pick face. So those are locations that you want stock to be picked from and they're locations that you want the replenishment to go on top up. Um, so for example, I might change this one to 30 and I would click save. And now that has gone and made this particular location a pick face at the highest efficiency. So you've still got the option to cascade your efficiencies if you need to. Um, of course, to do that in bulk, you can do things like export them out and re-import them. Thank you.